welcome to another episode of Times Square Kung Fu. I am your host, Frankie Barbour, aka the Shogun Supreme, man. Y'all know the deal, you know the vibes, man. What's the vibes to today? Ooh, you know I'm hype. Because y'all guys know how much I speak about the In the Line of Duty series. We're going to be doing an unboxing of In the Line of Duty Part 3, starting Cynthia Khan. This is her film debut, co starring Hiroshi Fujioka, who is a legend, man. Like, just if y'all didn't see the the Camel Kamen Rider series, or even those Sega commercials in the 90s in Japan, man, that, that dude is no joke. Amazing singer, too. We got Stuart Ong, Michigo Nish Nishiwaki, the nice buff lady you guys saw in My Lucky Stars. Uh, we got Dick Wayne Mother One, man. This film was a party, bro. It was a party. You know what I mean? So, as some of you guys know and some of you guys might not know, this might be your first, you know, video on my channel. But this film is coming out soon in the UK by Eureka Entertainment. And also, it's going to be part of a box set that includes Yes, Madam, Royal Warriors, this one, and Inner Light Duty Part 4. That's coming out in the States sometime in the spring. So, yo, we're going to eat next year, man. But me, I'm a fiend. I needed this HD transfer fast. Now, this is a 2K scan. Um, it's using the original aspect ratio 1.85.1 which you know you see the black bars in the you know top and bottom so let's look at this design of the packaging right here um you know some people complain about media books understandable but i really you know i'm you know they, they grew on me i kind of like them it's a little different you know what i mean it's nice and slick i like the matted look the gloss not the matted look but the nice gloss to it man it just looks so dope so this is the spine right here this comes with the blu-ray and dvd Whereas, you know, I wish it was a little smaller, but they go with a DVD size. It is what it is. Now, let's take a look in this bad boy right here. Now, for the ones who've never seen this film, oh, that's the legendary, no pun intended, <laughs> um, DVD cover. For the ones who've never seen this film, this film is typical, you know, cop film that happened in the 80s. But it also has the same type of tone, similar to World Warriors, where the Japanese police are working with the Hong Kong police to stop these terrorists. They're in Hong Kong trying to buy weapons, you know what I mean? But um, the book was written by Christoph, I believe, who did the same booklet for um, Yes, Madam, for the German release. Yeah, these are nice shots right here. There, goes, there she goes. And um, yeah, I could translate this with my phone using um, Google Translate. And it does a pretty good job. Now, the fighting in this film, this film is... Interesting because it has like five fight choreographers, I believe, like five, yeah. So you see a different pace and different styles, and especially the end fights, man, are just so insane. Like they, they get in there. Definitely get in there, man. And I'm like, okay, like these keys ramping up because the beginning was a little not really slow, but it was straight boom. And it reminds me of something She Shoot Straits did when they did the whole um club shootout. It's very similar, you see that in this film. So I wouldn't be surprised she shoot straight, you know, took inspiration from that scene. Like, oh, there goes Dick Way. And um, the picture quality on this, the picture quality is really good on this HD transfer. It's very similar to um, the World Warriors release. It has a nice dark and gloomy look because the film is cloudy at the start. But um, has a good pop to the color. Great pop, nice attention to detail, nice grain. Yeah, there goes, um, yeah, Kristoff citing his sources. Yeah, so the, the, the transfer looks good, so I wouldn't expect anything less from the other labels. Because that Yes Matter, um, Yes Matter um, audio transfer for Eureka sounds amazing. I did a video comparison of that, and I'll link that in the description. So the audio, the original audio for this sounds as good as the Eureka release of Yes Madam. So, I wouldn't be surprised. This is the same audio you're going to hear in the Eureka release and the 88 Films release. Um, with these releases from this German label, I think it's Cargo Records. Like, I don't know. They don't, do they even put their logo here sometimes? Like, I got to dig deep sometimes for these guys. But, yeah. They put the original audio. It sounds amazing. And it has English subtitles. And if you guys want to get this version just for collector's sake, um, I order them from Amazon Germany. They ship to the States. Or you, all you have to do is just switch your, you know, your country region. I mean, you switch your region. It's very simple. There's a, uh, the flag icon on your Amazon account. 
switches to Germany and they ship over here. I think it came out to me with shipping and everything. I got it for like 40 some what dollars. You know, yeah, that's a little expensive, but you know what? I love my movies, man. I needed this film so badly in HD. And I am very satisfied with what it did with this transfer, man. This film has amazing sound, this transfer. Um, the picture looks great. And come on, it's the fights, man, the fights. And I'm about to get part four pretty soon. And that's the one with Donnie Yen. And that's gonna be, oh my God, I can't wait to look at that in HD. So once I get part four, I'm going to have another video set up after that and do a review on the whole series and go way more in depth, you know, doing comparisons here and there with the fights between the films and, you know, the style they went with. But before I wrap this up, man, let me show you guys, you know, the packaging once again. I mean, you know, my only beef is I wish this wasn't like glue into the book because I could see this having issues, something I mentioned in my Yes Madam video in the future but you know i like the idea i like the concept of it you know i like different things man especially if the if the quality is there man you know because i really like the pictures in this booklet the information in here most of it is stuff that you could read online but i like the insight from um from fans and writers to talk about these films because you know you'll be surprised what you pick up but yeah that's a look at the german release of In The Line Doing 3 with Cynthia Khan. And as always, like, share, and subscribe, folks. And until the next one, peace.